Here's a unique one. Saw this at the swap meet, it was $10. And I kind of had to have it. It's all metal. Even down to the back is metal. And what's interesting about this thing is it looks like it's only a three tube set. Three tube. One of them is a rectifier, so it's a two tube set. Okay, we got one missing. It looks like it's a 50L6. That's just a audio output tube. Let's take it the rest of the way apart. Here's the chassis. See, does this one have the appropriate knot in it? Ooh. Boy, this thing is so, so minimal. It doesn't even have a uh, cross the line cap, does it? See, we got one. This one comes in here to the power switch straight to ground. Okay, then this one comes over here to here. Oh yeah, this might be the across the line cap right here. I gotta wonder, how does this work? Is this, if this is a TRF set, why does it have two tuning gangs? I'm not that familiar with TRF sets, so I... This would be probably the first one I've ever seen. See, we got a 25B8. 25B8, 50L6, and 35Z5. So we've got something, an amplifier here, uh, audio output, no... No kind of detector stage. This might be a multi-section tube, but I don't think so. You know, I would really like to see this work. Um, in fact, I think this actually deserves like the Variac treatment. because this, it's all metal. Every bit of it. So I gotta say, I'm quite fascinated with this and it had, it looked like 75 ohm twin lead that was soldered to this Scorgle Snorbler, whatever this thing is. I mean, what could this thing do? Just get, it, it has no antenna. It's got a couple, got three or four of these weird looking coil things. I would imagine it would just, here it would probably just get K and X all the time, or it would get KFI and K and X. Anyway, let's get a cord on it, a 50L6 in there, and uh, let's bring this up on a light bulb. Someone was asking me about alternatives to a Variac. Let well, I'm waiting for the iron to heat up. It looks like we got a bent plate here. You can hear it. Seems a little better. 
just temporarily tacking this together it, we know it's going to need to be recapped but I would just like to see it work in this video I can't see it working too good it's basically just like a big uh, it's basically like touching the phono input on your amplifier I, I can't see it doing much more than that so we have a 40 watt bulb and you can see I just have the bulb here in series with this okay and this is a perfectly fine way to do this. Uh, you got to kind of use your brain when it comes to the wattage of the bulb. This is a 40 watt bulb with a little radio that probably uses 25 watts or something. If it was a TV, a small TV, I'd probably be after a 200 watt bulb or a big TV, a four or 500 watt bulb or, you know, somewhere in there. You got to kind of size the bulb up to the the thing if I put a 500 watt bulb on this thing it's gonna drive five amps through it before it even lights the bulb up so tubes are populated uh, light bulb is there let's turn it on and see what happens There's a very slight hum there. With a revised and updated edition, the title is The Way We Never Were. It's posted on our website. The first time we're hearing about something like this happening or hasn't happened. Yeah. And uh, this actually, this particular hack, months ago, there were some hacks that occurred. Chapin se sentó acá y no les creyeron. I am surprised. In fact, I'm shocked. I mean, the antenna is only what, uh, 24 inches, if that. I am surprised. I mean, I know I live in LA and this is, you know, we're saturated with stations here, but keep in mind all original capacitors in this thing, no hum. Would you check this thing out? What you're dealing with in terms of the threats that are out Let's take care of the volume control. This volume control is totally sealed. There's no way into this damn thing. You can tell there's two stations just running together right there. He said, 
no se recuerdan lo que él ha... Te veo. Sí, claro que sí. Well, uh, I think this is very impressive. Uh, I really do. You know, it'd be interesting to put a long wire antenna on it, you know, 30, 40 feet of wire, maybe even more, and see how it performs. But um, you're looking at it there, it's basically two tubes. It's a 50L6 and a 25B5 or whatever, and this is a 35W4. So the rectifier, amplifier, and whatever that's doing. It's got a field coil there. I think this is pretty old. Maybe there's someone watching this video that knows a bit about this thing. I'm, I'm very, very curious. You're listening to the KNX Money Hour. <clears throat> Excuse me, with Frank Motek. You know, one one problem I'm detecting with it is because it's doesn't have a defined IF bandwidth. You can hear the digital side bands um, of KNX. You can hear them riding on the sides. That the, the shh. happened here with the iPhone being cracked by the FBI. Hey, Frank and Ron, thanks for having me. This is pretty exciting. I'm really happy to say that they used, I believe they used the Celebrite, it's an Israeli company's universal forensic extraction device. So it, it, it doesn't have a defined center point on the station and then the sideband on each side. It just all runs together. You know, I bought a... Um, I bought a digital radio at the swap meet. Uh, this weekend. Maybe I'll pull that out and we'll keep this video going a little longer. This is a HD radio receiver which picks up and decodes the digital sidebands that all the vintage radio people are so worried that uh, analog radio will eventually go away and it'll go to a digital format. And this is on completely opposite ends of the spectrum from this. This is all American made metal, will last forever. This is plastic Chinese crap, probably with BGA chips that will expire in five years, if it even lasts that long. Um, AM loop antenna. We have our, I grab my PC speakers here, which are just running off the battery. And this is running off a wall wart, and we'll, we'll take a look at how this works. Uh, the FM antenna is just a wire that kind of comes out of the back of it and hangs here. So uh, let's turn it on, and what you'll what it'll do is it'll lock on to the or it'll tune in the analog carrier first, and then it'll phase into the sidebands, and, and you'll you'll actually you don't hear much difference the the audio is really not that much better in fact I almost think it's kind of a step down because you get all the low bitrate aliasing that goes with this Southern California 
California's rock and roll classic. KRHD2. So you get you have multiple multiple channels within one station. Lo que no sabes es que solo con mirarnos es tan fácil de adaptarnos que morimos por I think the best one is the classic rock station. This one I think has three of them. Here is a lot of uh, uh, opportunity for the job and different majors, and I couldn't uh, make a major. No go. To change your life, your eye doctor has solutions. Find a doctor at thinkaboutyoureyes.com. Traffic and weather together every 10 minutes on the fives, 125 now. This report sponsored by Wix.com. Here's Tom Fran. Take a look at a problem on the northbound side of the 57. Got a crash just before Grand Avenue. Mentioned earlier, clearing out of the way. Slow, though, from Diamond Bar Boulevard heading into Diamond Bar. Over on the uh, 101 going eastbound. New crash being reported near Van Nuys Boulevard. It looks like at least three vehicles involved in this one. Everything's in the gore point, but slow nonetheless on that 101 heading over towards the 170. Let's check in with Desmond and Sky 2. He's taking a look at a problem on the 105. I can't. We're just now getting eyes on it. It's going to be... HD is real. Oh, look at it. It's just, it's just a coil wire around my lanes. I've taken away here, so uh, keep it to the left if you're already stuck in the backup. And we're following that backup. Looks like it's going to be at least off of the 105. So Imperial Highway or Rosecrans can certainly serve you well. So it takes a fairly strong signal to go into HD, but if I could get it to do it on AM, if I can get it to go into the KNX uh, HD signal, you'll hear. All of a sudden, AM sounds pretty much like FM. Let me see if I can get it to do it. Now, uh, Chris, Time Warner trying to make a deal now with uh, other companies like uh, Cox, DirecTV, etc. to sign on to the Sportsnet, but apparently they're not buying it? No, they're not. It's, Come you know, on. It's, it's really it's a bad timing on, on everybody's part because here you have the cable companies... Uh, if you're one of the you know what? This buzzing riding on my power line uh, is... It probably raises the digital error rate up too high. It just can't do it. It's just. Doctor Maynard doing 14 different tests on your eyes. Most LASIK doctors only know two. What I had LASIK with Doctor Maynard. And just a little bit right now, he was looking for some problems over on the 710. Yeah, he's up and around the 710 at Willow. Didn't see anything there in lanes actually too much. Looks like just a little bench getting through commerce. Not too big of a deal, otherwise you should be all clear to the shoreline. And northbound 710 is a jam at the moment. Had a crash over on the 105 going to eastbound. We got a new one being reported on the westbound side near the 710. Just popped up on the radar. Two vehicles involved in this one on the right shoulder, adding to that little bit of a slowdown on the westbound side. It's the eastbound side of the 105 that's still slow. Uh, significant. All the way over towards Long Beach Boulevard. Use Imperial Highway if you're trying to get eastbound. Your next report at 145 with Southern California's most frequent traffic reports from Tom Tran, KNX 1070 News Radio. And the forecast calling for clouds and possible showers and thunderstorms firing up this afternoon with highs in the 60s only. Overnight lows back down to the 40s. Sunny and a bit warmer for tomorrow. We're showing 64 right now. Okay, we're going to do a little experiment here with the HD radio. And that is this camera has a direct audio line input on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug the output of the radio into the camera and I'll let you hear the, the difference. If you have a uh, good set of speakers, you'll definitely hear it. And um, it's going to be full stereo and everything, just, just direct digital recording. And on FM, you'll notice that there's hardly any difference except maybe the EQ of the digital signal is a little different. They probably do that intentionally just to... Uh, make you think you're getting something which you're really not over the FM carrier at the analog. Uh, the buzzing in this area, I haven't been able to figure that out. I'm in a I'm in a totally different house. It's on another part of the grid and I'm still getting the buzzing. So I'm going to have to work on that. It's definitely in the power line though. So let's check this out. We'll start with KNX first and you'll hear when the thing goes in and out of HD. I'm going to plug it in right now.
Right. Rights Priebus uh, said today he doubts that uh, anyone except Trump, Kasich, or Ted Cruz will end up with the party's nomination in July. My position is, and I think I'm, I think it's absolutely correct. The, our nominee is likely to be the one of the three people running. Priebus said Trump spoke on Fox News Sunday. Kasich appeared on ABC's This Week. A new CBS News poll. G- From a beyond. político, ¿no? Mm. Y en México también se refiere mucho a los colores. و هم کاملا توی میتونید برید تو دینایل و این کار عزیز اونو درست کنید و دوم We touched on this earlier with Bob Nightingale in, in of the USA Today as we talked about what that AL Central is going to shape up to. There's hundreds here. So, something you need to hear, something you want to hear, give us a ring, 800-955-KLOS. You can pick a Beatles song and a solo Beatles song. Just, you know, things out a little bit. Now, I get a call every week, usually at about 9.01 from this guy, Bob. And Bob is great. He wants to hear old Beatles stuff, you know. He's like a pre-62 guy. He doesn't want to hear anything after 62. <laughs> Everything is like quarry men and, you know, German. This is a man show that he's planning for the future. I no. Quarry men. Now, this is recorded live right here in our Breakfast of the Beatles studios. In spite of all the danger. And again, something you need to hear. Give us a ring. 800. la gente, cada situación es diferente, pero lo que sí les puedo decir es que nosotros con más de 15 años de experiencia ya hemos hecho de todo, este, tenemos mucha experiencia es en la área de la bancarrota, así es que si también están pensando hacer una bancarrota, es muy importante que nos llamen primero antes de tomar ese paso, ¿Por qué? Porque hemos visto a este, vimos el otro día que tenía una Joints 
visited at 888-598-5800. 888-598-5800. Put this number in your phone right now. You will thank me later because you never know when you're going to get into a car accident. 888-598-5800. 888-598-5800. Or go to calljacob.com. The Car Pro Show. What is it? Here's Kevin McCarthy. Everything you ever wanted to know about any aspect of the car business or any aspect of any car, but didn't have somebody who would give you straight talk and honest answers? Nothing confusing about that. Email the Car Pro at carprousa.com and get your questions answered. I'm Kevin McCarthy. I'm the Car Pro, Jerry Reynolds. The Car Pro Show, Saturday mornings from 9 to 11. X 1070 News Radio. It's 940. Two people were killed. 35 injured after an Amtrak train hit a backhoe and derailed just outside Philadelphia. There are reports the two fatalities were construction workers. CBS News Transportation Safety Analyst Mark Rosenker says a video system on the train could provide key clues as to what led up to that accident. These locomotives. All right. Um, so you can hear on the FM stations, the weaker FM stations, when HD kicks in, the noise floor just drops way out. So it is definitely an improvement on the um, on the low signal FM stuff. On the AM, it's a vast improvement. I want to take this thing out to the car and see if I can power it up off the car because this is 12 volts and see if we could get rid of this buzz. I'd love to hear the classical station on AM, the K Mozart or whatever on HD versus uh, just analog modulation. So let me work on that. This is pretty entertaining. Mm -hmm. 